a couple episodes back, maybe two or three ago, I don't remember, uh, we were talking about how you can search for characters inside the same line, huh? By hitting, uh, by hitting F for find or T to go up until that letter that you type. We're going to expand on this even more now. So let's go into the terminal. Uh, magic. And we, for instance, are in this horrible JavaScript file once again. Good thing, by the way, that we're doing a Vim tutorial and not a JavaScript tutorial because, um, well, this would be very bad advice. But this is just for example's sake. Um, say, for instance, we're over here at the start of definitely. And we want to go and delete some stuff inside of this word, for, in for instance, but we don't want to delete all of it. And the tools that we've kind of collected so far, they don't exactly fit this kind of scenario, right? We'll get ready to add another one to your tool belt. So we're going to hit, in this case, uh, let's say we want to wipe out the word uh, definitely, right? We can hit delete till capital A. And you see, before we would just hit, uh, you know, like, uh, view till A or something like that, and we would go into visual mode. This deleted everything completely, entirely, absolutely. Um, same deal, for instance, you know, delete find A. Just like before, find will also go up to and including that letter that we clicked, that we typed, because we don't do a lot of clicking in Vim. Um, undo some more. So you can see where this can definitely be useful. Like for instance, if we're over here in this um, this long, long string and we want to delete entire chunks of it, yeah, we get hit, I don't know, delete and delete and delete and delete and and sound really annoying when we say it and annoy everybody nearby. Um, but we could do, for instance, in this case, delete till the comma. And we just took out blocks and blocks and blocks of words here and making making our lives completely way more simple. I like tigers, for instance, um, but only sometimes was maybe what I wanted to say and put that in the console for my programmer self to see. Um, but I don't know why anybody wouldn't like tigers all the time, personally, but that's all it is for Vim right now. So goodbye. This is an addendum. Also, in addition to deleting till, you can also do change till and change find like we talked about in the previous episode or one of those back in the day. Um, that will also help you if you want to change something and immediately go into insert mode right after and save yourself a keystroke. So use that too and it'll help a lot. Bye.